Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with a technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday, June the 14th. These are the charts of the day. Well, it was kind of a mixed picture in Wall Street uh, and a little choppy and volatile volatility continues post FOMC. But boy, today was a good trading day. A lot of stocks were channeling, were channeling up. I can't even give you the new IPOs because there's so many of them. Um, so I'm not going to give you any of them. But there's an awful lot of stocks on my list today that have good charts and I think are worth I'm keeping an eye on for like APPN, which we gave you when it broke out for a swing. It's already moved from 32 to 40. It looks to me like it's going to hit that secondary target, 43. Uh, uh, at that point, uh, we'll have to re-gauge where it's at, but it will have had to move from uh, the uh, 29 and change area up to 43. That may be good enough for that swing to be ended, at least for now. BILI, this is one that um, I wanted to include. Big volume on the upside. You can see mo most of the stocks that we are looking at it, that are new issues like BILI and many, many others um, are looking like that and overextended. Just wanted to point that out. BLFS, low price to BLFS broke out here, key breakout in April, running it over six with volume then forming a coil. Since then, break out of the coil and went up from seven to almost 12 to yeah, the high today was 12 even. I think it has more to go looking at the long-term chart. Angle of ascent tells me there's a possibility we can see 14. Yep. CVNA, what a move this month. Literally gone from 23 and a half all the way up to 41. And now is at the top of the channel. May be time to take that swing off the table as it may need to pull back and consolidate, but strong momentum. ELGX swing is also working great. When it broke out of the base down in here, we gave you a buy on. It's moved up steadily. Uh, you can see it's uh, gone up more than 50% already today, getting over this resistance zone. I would not be shocked to see it make a run at seven and a half, three quarters. ELOX, a recent listing, you can see this is NASDAQ bulletin board stuff. I think they got listed last November. It's moved up nicely, particularly in the last three months. And a one, two, three, four, five way move and to the top of the channel. So this might be extended as well. The market itself might be extended. A lot of stocks have done very well in here. End phase, what a recovery from this falling channel with the breakaway gap yesterday. But more importantly, today, after purchasing SunPower's micro-inverted business, this stock just ripped. And, but there was resistance yesterday. It broke through it today, up 46 cents or 7.7% .7 on 8.6 million. I'm thinking the top of this channel is next. And that tells me a move to about seven and three quarters, eight, maybe doable. Etsy with an explosive big mop run today, big time. It did back off quite a bit from 44.78 high to close it. 41.65, about three points off the high. Nevertheless, still up 6.66 or 26 percent on 26.7 million. Huge. So I'm thinking when I see this kind of breakaway move like we had here, it often extends. And I'm looking for the stock to make it up into the high 40s. Fenua, great, great move, particularly from August to March. Then they had this beautiful bull coil that broke out, coiled again, and broke out again big time. Four days ago or last week, that was a breakout day. And three days of pullback flagging, and today was a big one. Mid-channel line, I had a target in about the 38.9 zone. We've hit that today. But the top of the channel near the low 50s might be doable on this one. Galectin. Love this overall look. A massive inverse head and shoulder breakout, pullback to the neckline in a three-wave corrective. And then another move up equal, equal to that would get us to about nine, almost $10. So my 9 and 3 quarters 10 zone is next, followed by 15 or better. GDS, another fairly new issue that I decided to show you because it's so powerful. In particular, it broke out of a flag today, and I'm looking for 56 at 58 on that one. Could be a 10 point, 12 point move. GEMP, the way it's setting up on the one daily chart here, the way it's setting up with all these green bars here and there and the OBV rising, I think it's about to explode. I mean, first target is about 8.40. We get through that, I'm looking for nine and a half, 10, and then 11 and a half. Intel sat after pulling back on big volume, turned it right around, but I would put a stop at under 14 three quarters, and we're looking for a move through 18 and a half to get this one to 21, 22. IIN, look at this chart, it's a beauty. Um, I haven't talked much about it. The breakout came here, that was a nice consolidation on low volume right there, the ebb, then it popped and ran, coiled, popped flag. I'm not sure why I've never talked to you about this one. Perhaps because it's a fairly thinly traded stock, but it sure is powerful looking. However, short term, it's overbought. 
INS Y broke out today, I believe, ramping up a um, dollar rate of 15% on 3.4 million, which is the biggest volume since January, telling me there's a possibility that if resistance at about 847 gets taken out and it hit 834 today, it's made run to 10 and a half. NVTR, another beautiful long-term chart that I've had on my list for a while. This is um, just a beautiful runner. And you can see how it broke out there, broke out again there, coiled, and it's been ramping up for a week and a half now. From 16 to 23 and a half, more than 50% in just a week and last week and a half. So maybe extended as well, uh, but momentum is very strong in that. Pandora ramping up and breaking out above resistance today. I think it's headed for a run at about the eight and a half range short term. If we get through that, this could be ten dollars. Swing trade doing well. Speaking of swing trades, PI is doing well. <coughs> After breaking out there and forming a falling wedge, it formed another little wedgie. <coughs> now it's in a rising flag. I think the overall structure of this pattern tells me twenty four and a half and twenty seven and a half for potential targets. Big day for QSII. Take a look at the inverse head and shoulder breakout here, breakaway gap, and then a, a little wedge right at resistance. <clears throat> Completely missed this one until I saw it today. But that was a ma major breakout, up a dollar fiber. It's about 6%. And more importantly, looking at the long term chart, a massive in base here. If we get through this level, it looks like it just did today. We might be taking this stock into the low 20s. For starters, 21 and a half. Secondary target, 24. Tandem. Well, after pulling back and, and reverse yesterday, and today was a kind of an inside day, but a positive one, I'm looking for a run to 2021 zone. Longer term, intermediate term, 24.5. Tetra phase, looking awfully good after getting wiped out in February. Step, moved that back steadily, formed the coil broke out, formed another coil broke out, formed the three-day little flag, a wedgie, and broke out. So it continues to do that with OBV ramping up and volume picking up. I feel like this stock is headed for a gap fill at about $495, maybe as high as five and a quarter. It's something in that zone. And then I'd be looking at around to about seven. So your targets on this one are, call it five and seven. Twitter ramping up and at the top of the channel, on a longer term basis, similar to what it did there, it may pull back and consolidate. It probably needs to, but momentum is very strong. At this point, it reached my target zone on a swing, although the next target would be 52 if it decides to continue this momentum. Viking Therapeutics in a rising flag and looking power, powerful with OBV rising. 14 and 18 are targets. And finally, Yext broke out of a base Fairly new IPO from back about a year ago. Pulled back and tested it and then popped. Since then, ramping up in a rising channel. And it looks to me like momentum is strong enough to get this into the low 20s. Folks, that's a review of some of the big, big, look, uh, real good looking um, potentials. And uh, I'll get back to you with, with some more over the weekend. But for now, this is HP signing off. Have a good evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Let's make some money.